Um, well, this, I've been doing this work for 20 years, mostly in Louisiana, and uh, a friend of mine who wanted me to move back to Portland was on the legal advisory board of PSJ and uh, offered me up for this job when it came up. So I'm super excited to be at PSJ because I think it's the only organization in Oregon doing this kind of work. Um, and it's the only or one of only maybe two organizations that really are serious about having a holistic approach to public safety around both issues that affect victims and people who've committed crimes. My name is Jose Gutierrez and I'm the Youth Justice Organizer with Partnership for Safety and Justice. And uh, the role that I play is organizing youth, uh, specifically high school students, college students, and um, other youth in different uh, community-based organizations to get involved with our uh, campaign, Stand Strong for Safety and Savings. And currently we're involved in uh, moving a bill, House Bill 3194, which includes changes to Measure 11, which uh, is a mandatory minimum sentence for youth um, as young as 15 years old. Partnership for Safety and Justice, we've been around since 1999. And what we do is work with survivors of crime, those convicted of crime, and the families of both to create a more just and effective public safety system. And we do this primarily through advocacy and outreach. And we, again, are involved with this campaign. Uh, it's been a long road of you know members who have been fighting for significant public safety reform and change. So we're at a really pivotal point right now uh, within the organization, and we're really, really excited to, to be at this point. Gustav Kappert, I'm the membership organizer at Partnership for Safety and Justice. Um, so at the moment, um, with the legislature so in flux, um, I would say that the best thing people can do is to sign up uh, to be more involved, and by being more involved, be more informed. Um, whether that means coming to a meeting like the one uh, we just had in Salem, uh, or signing up online through our Action Alert Network, uh, which lets people around the state know um, when moment, there are big moments um, where we need a lot of public support uh, with a very quick turnaround. Um, so uh, it's very easy to go on our website and get on our email list. Um, and we have meetings, regular meetings in the Portland, Salem, and Eugene areas. Um, and frequently have other actions for people to participate in, but you won't find out about them unless um, you get our email.